Welcome to our class. Let us have a prayer prior to our lesson. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for how you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Please help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Art Grade 7, Quarter 1, Module 1, Arts and Crafts of Luzon, Attires, Fabrics, and Tapestries, Crafts, and Accessories and Body Ornamentation. Here are the most essential learning competencies for this lesson. Analyzes elements and principles of art in the production of one's arts and crafts inspired by the arts of Luzon, Highlands, and Lowlands. Identifies characteristics of arts and crafts in specific areas in Luzon. For example, paper mache from Paite, Ifoga wood sculptures, Cordillera jewelry and pottery, tattoo, Ilocos weaving and pottery, etc. Appreciates the artifacts and art objects in terms of their uses and their distinct use of art elements and principles. Textile, attire, fabrics, and tapestries. In Abel, Ilocos handwoven fabric is more commonly referred to as Abel Iloco. It is derived from the root word Abel, which translates as to weave. The Ilocanus word inabel translates as woven. It was inspired by nature. Binakol, meaning twill, is easily identifiable by its interlocked geometric patterns that resemble the sea's waves, which protect people from malevolent spirits. One of the inabel's most recognizable patterns also known as binakel, binakael, or binakul. Kain. This is the standard dress for Cordillera women. It is a style of wraparound skirt distinguished by horizontal stripes bordered by decorated panels at the joints and edges, bright colors, most notably fairy red, and beaded and shell embroidery. Other colors such as red, yellow, white, black, and green are used to represent the colors of natural objects. Kadangyan It is a burial cloth for the aristocracy of mountain province. It is a cordilleran term for wealthy. Previously, only grand matters were permitted to wear burial cloths or kadangyan. But this restriction has been lifted and any weaver is now permitted. Buntok fabric. It is outlined by a variety of geometric shapes and natural shapes. Sinusi one are the buntok's blanket and clothing wanis, as well as lufid and ginaspala wanis. Wanis and lufid. Wanis and Lufid are mountain province Igorot costumes. Men wear Wanis, a long strip of hand women, loin cloth or bahag, while women wear Lufid, a wrap around skirt or tapis. These garments reflect each Igorot's personality and culture and traditions. Example, religious practices and rituals. Ginaspala Wanis. It is a belt made of Inawin design patterns worn by married women of Buntok and Kankanay. Pakwat. It is a belt worn by mothers following childbirth. It features white beads as accents and beaded patterns of rivers and mountains on the central portion of the cloth. It is woven by Nueva Vizcaya's Gadang weavers. Tingian designs. 
These are made by Abra people and feature a simple linear design with multiple interpretations. Certain textiles are reserved for special occasions such as childbirth, weddings, and harvesting. They use natural dyes derived from various trees and plants like mahogany for red, jack for or ginger for yellow, nara for brown, and malatayum for indigo. Piña and Juicy are traditional Batangas fabrics. It is defined by smooth stitches and composed of refined, delicate shapes, embossed, and durable. In the Philippines, it is an embroidered formal menswear that is the most versatile attire for special occasions such as weddings and legal proceedings. Crafts Burnai or Tapayan It is an earthenware jar that has been skillfully crafted by a skilled potter using a potter's wheel and an oven. It is constructed using grade A clay and fine sand. Water Grains, fermented fish or bagoong, basi or sugar cane wine, salt, and other condiments are stored in it. It has small openings, whereas wanging, the another type of bernay, has a larger mouth. Buri mat. The bulinao mat is made of dyed and woven dried farm leaves, such as buri, raffia, and buntal. Lava. It is a bowl shape called basket crafted from Kalinga's finely split rattan and nito vine. It is utilized in the transportation and storage of rice and vegetables. Lingling o dinumo. It is a typical ancient artifact symbolizing fertility, prosperity, and love. Found in the northern Philippines, Ifugao, Bunto, and other Cordillera regions. It contains a negative space that can be considered the female reproductive system's internal organs, the womb, and the birth canal. This fertility symbol embodied the feminine essence that nurtures and births life. Vakul. In Batanes, Ivatan women wear the headdress to shield themselves from sun and rain. Vests. Men farmers from Ibatan wear vests. The vakul and vest are made of leaves from the Biawoy tree, which is endemic to Batanes. Singkaban. Singkaban is a Bulacan craft that entails the creation of an entrance arch and other decorative elements primarily out of bamboo. Pastillas wrapper. It is wrapped in a unique, colorful, and intricately designed paper called pabalat or borlas de pastillas in the local dialect. Other Bulacan arts and crafts include firecrackers and goldsmith. Keeping It is a traditional Filipino lip-shaped glutinous rice wafer. It originated in Lokban, Quezon. During the Pahayas festival, it is used to decorate houses. It is edible, grilled or fried. It is delicious when dipped in sugar vinegar, or another sauce. The Bacon region is rich in abaca and raffia, natural fibers, as well as their arts and crafts, which include baskets, bags, slippers, coin purses, and other items. Their crafts are simple but vibrant. Giant Lantern Previously, giant lanterns in Pampanga were covered in papel de Japon, but were later innovated by using colored plastics 
as a covering material. In modern times, Pampanguenos make their lanterns out of fiberglass and homemade paper. It has illuminated dancing lights that are controlled by a rotor and follow the beat of the music. It is available in a variety of designs and geometric patterns. It was constructed using steel frames and other materials readily available in the area. Accessories and Body Ornamentation Batok or Tattooing Tattooing is a form of art that is typically applied to the chest and arms of Kalinga. It is regarded as the Kalinga's clothing and decorations. Batok is a thousand-year-old tattooing tradition that utilizes indigenous materials such as charcoal and water in a coconut shell, a citrus tree thorn as a needle, and a bamboo thorn holder as well as bamboo used to top it. The person in the photo is Wang Un. Kabayan Mummies Close examination of the Kabayan Mummies in Mountain Province reveals that they have body tattoos that correspond to the patterns found on their textiles. Thank you for watching. Success starts within yourself. Brace yourself and accept the academic challenges. God bless!